Imagine this, the Texas South Plains 210 million years ago. There were no shrubs, dust, or cotton. It was more like a tropical rainforest where animals called phytosaurs lurked, including a new species recently discovered near post by Texas Tech University scientists. This is the uh, animal that we just named, and the name of it is Macara prosopis latorum, and it's named for the lot family who allowed us to collect on their property down by post. Mueller says this is a female skull and that they knew it was a phytosaur because it resembled a modern day crocodile, but says there was something different about this lady. Shape of the very back of the skull, and there's two uh, openings there called a supratemporal fenestra, and the uh, bone shape around those and the way it's positioned uh, helps us identify this as a separate species. Judging by the skull size, Mueller says this female would have been 16 to 17 feet in length. Spidosaurs lived much like today's crocodile, even though they thrived way back in the Triassic period. Living in the water and around uh, the water and eating fish and whatever animals came, came to the margin of the rivers and lakes. Most of them have been found somewhere near a water deposit. Uh, because like regular crocodiles today, that's where they live. Also, in that type of environment, you're more likely to get preservation. This is Lacey Nobles for Texas Tech Today.